Hey everyone, it's Arrow Dragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we defeated Claire and got our eighth gym badge, and we're told to come here to New Bark Town to meet up with Professor Rom. In this episode, we're gonna do exactly that. Arrow, did you already collect eight badges? That's so cool. The professor is waiting for you. Hi, Arrow. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. We get the Master Ball. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Given only to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Arrow. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Kimono Girls looking for you. Arrow, people are talking about you. I heard you help Kimono Girls? You've been helping all those people. You make me proud to be your friend. Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Ecruteek Dance Theater. Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick. Uh, who do I want to send in first? I'll, I'll throw a, uh, yeah, I'll throw a crosshair. For, for a specific, for a specific reason. You'll see when we get there. Okay, so let's head over to Ecrutic City. Alucard, if you please. How is this possible? How can I lose to mere kimono girls? You're watching me, Arrow. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five kimono girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You have to come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. Those kimono girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna head to the Pokemon to do two things. One, show off what you can do, what you can buy with the badges. Two, pick up Ultra Balls because I need them. All right, got 20 on hand, and I'm also gonna pick up a few full restores that I can buy now because honestly, there are a lot of situations where these are useful. Like if your Pokemon's low on health and burn paralyzed or poisoned or something. The point is, it never hurts to have a few full restores on hand, even if you're already using something like Hyper Potions. Alright, let's head to the dance theater. Welcome, my name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give the mystery egg to whoever showed truest potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Realm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not... Suffice not be blah, 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 will not not be sufficient. I can't speak. Will not be sufficient to face the power of the Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? I am. You're gonna have to fight five battles in a row, so be prepared. I will test how closely you bonded with your Pokemon. Okay, the Momo girl Zuki. She sends in Umbreon. This is why I want to go. I did not want to do that. What did I do that for? What is wrong with me? Actually, don't answer that. You would be here for a while. Ugh, man, I can't believe I did that. Let's try this again. Come on, don't hit yourself. Thank you. Close combat. And down. See what close combat is awesome. And cross a group, gained a level. Sweet. I don't have any Pokemon left. You're quite strong. You helped me in the Alex Forest. My name is Naoko. I'm the one that's not so good at directions. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay, now I'll go send in Espeon. I'm gonna send in something that won't get destroyed in three nanoseconds. I'll send, I'll ca counter pick with my own Espeon. That won't work. Ha! Now I'll show you the power of my Shadow Ball that I got right here in Ecruteek City. You're going down.
Hey, here comes number three. You're quite the trainer. I remember you chasing out that Team Rocket grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I'm actually a trainer myself. See who knows who see see who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, the kimono girl. I may challenge you in your Pokemon. <laughs> see who knows the most speaks the least. That's probably what Rabbit said when he talked about Red. He who has no voice has many has much to say. Okay, she's in Flareon. Once again, I'm going to tag out because Crosshair is quite frankly a dead bug. I don't know. Regardless, Hydrofang is the better option here. <laughs> I kind of, it kind of sucks you can't switch Pokemon between battles. Then again, it would defeat the purpose of the challenge. Just drown the thing. Just drown the fire fox thing. I don't know what Flareon's supposed to be, honestly. Are they all supposed to be foxes? I don't know. <laughs> I got a crit when I didn't even need it. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me up from the back. I'm the one who skates in sandals. I am Sayo, the kimono girl. I was listening at the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Okay, battle number four. And yeah, if, if you haven't caught on yet, the theme of their gang is Evolutions. She has a Jolteon. Okay, I'm going to see if Crosshair can actually take this thing, because I know Close Combat will one-shot this thing, because, you know, Jolteon can't really take a head. You are a jerk. I swear, my Close Combat's going to connect on the first go, and you're going to go down. Thank you, Crosshair. Oh, so close. I almost had you. And then there was one. I'm the last one. You were so dependable at the Golden Rod Tunnel. I'm the one who twirls even underground. I am Kuni, the Komodo Girl. I looked at you in wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. I might challenge you and your Pokémon. Interestingly enough, you fight these evolutions in reverse numerical order, starting with Umbreon and ending with Vaporeon. I actually find that a really neat detail. Kinda wish they you fought them in numerical order would have been a lot more appropriate, but eh, what can you do? I'm gonna use Shadow Claw first to stop this thing up, because I don't want to risk in a close combat at one shine this thing, because as I said, it's bio, Vaporeon's a very good tank. And if I use close combat, I'd be open to be one shot. Or I don't know, maybe I was worrying about nothing. Who cares? Close combat! Yeah, Heracross is by and far one of the best users of it, considering A, stab, B, great great attack stat, and C, crits. <laughs> I didn't intend that, I swear. It's just, I didn't know what I was going to say for C, and then just that just happened. <laughs> oh boy, Crosshair, you amaze me. And you go to level 40. Nice. You are wonderful. We are not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. We got the title bell! Big sisters, I just saw the big shadow of Pokemon in the World Islands waters. It could be... Arrow, we'll be at the World Islands. See you there. Okay, so... I'm gonna ignore that real quick because it probably is meaningless. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and, gr and grow grass something. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so easiest way to the World Islands is head to Seamwood City, start surfing, and it's just the east. Gonna toss up a rappel because I'm gonna need it. And I'm gonna show you the very, very, very easy way to get through the World Islands, which is otherwise a gigantic maze. Okay, so there are four islands, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. You wanna head to the northeast island. Very important you head to this one specifically. Uh... And just remember, you need a Pokemon with Whirlpool in order to access this area. You could have accessed this area earlier when you actually got the 7th Gym Badge, but it's better to save yourself a trip. Okay. Okay, let's head into the cave. I recommend you have a Pokemon with Flash to make navigating this place easier. Just trust me, okay? I taught Flash to Jewel to di and ditch Light Screen, and then picked up an RTM for Light Screen to teach it af to teach it back afterward. And while we're heading to the heart of this area, believe it or not, there's a new encounter for this area. It 
Surfing in- I'm gonna ignore that name. I might come back for the answer between episodes, but anyway. Surfing in the waters in the caves of the World Islands can net you horsey. Gonna get the biggest problem out of the way right now. You will not get this thing at a decent level. It's level 20 at best. So it will take some time to train and evolve. Once it evolves into Seedra, it becomes a decent enough Pokemon. But, in order to evolve it, you'll need to trade it with a Dragon Scale item. Dragon Scales can be held by Wild Horsey occasionally, but you're not far off from being able to get one naturally. But oh man, Kingdra is utterly fantastic. Like Polytone, it's a jack-of-all-trades type Pokemon with no real strengths but no real weaknesses. Water Dragon is excellent typing as we saw from Clara's Kingdra. Its move pool is really solid. Sniper's a really good ability for a single for a story playthrough. It's just a really, really solid Pokemon if you can trade for it. So yeah, pretty good Pokemon. And yeah, that's the easy way to get through this place. Yeah. And the reason I knew that offhand is for a reason I'll go over in a little bit. But for now, let's just go over to this guy and show him our Silver Wing. You found it. Please go ahead. And I'm going to show you in advance all silver players, how over hard gold players. You come over here, you go into this cave right here, and would you look at that? A free rare candy. That is awesome. That's right. This is where we welcome Lugia. We, when the dance we practice many days becomes one with the sound of the Pina Bell we entrusted with you, Lugia shall come out from deep within the Waterfall Basin once again. Okay, I'm gonna shut up so you can just admire this scene. So may I try- I'm gonna, I'm gonna bother. <clears throat> Arrow, you're complete- yeah, but your heart is complete harmony with the title bell has finally allowed you to appear. Arrow, don't you see? Lugia, must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, I'm gonna say first because- okay, I'll get into what ha something that happened once the battle starts. I just recommend you save beforehand, like you do with any legendary Pokemon. I already saved, I don't need to do it again. Okay. Lugia! Oh man, if there was ever a gold standard for what a wall should be, this will be it right here. Its defenses and HP are just outstanding, and its speed is actually really solid for a wall. On top of that, Psychic and Flying gives it lots of handy resistances and a complete immunity to ground type attacks. If I had to level any complaints, is that its offense is only average, but that's to be expected. But this thing is also the by far the best user of the pressure ability, which doubles the foe's PP usage, making this thing great at stalling out a battle. It also has a signature move called Aeroblast, a 100 power special flying type attack with a high crit rate. Lugia is just fantastic, one of my personal favorite legendary Pokemon, can't say enough good about it. Okay, I want to thank my friend Fawn for the great artwork you saw for Lugia's bio, so yeah, thank you Fawn. Okay, I'm going to try a turn one Quick Ball because I have caught legendaries and Quick Balls, it's possible, Let's see if I can get lucky. Not even a Wiggle, go figure. <coughs> okay, so, the unfortunate thing that happened. I've done this already. 
I got to this point, forgot to save before Lugia, accidentally knocked it out, and had to start the episode all over again. Oh, jeez, I really hope I can get the Paralyze on this thing. Come on. Okay, good, good, good. So, yeah, I was... So, yeah, that happened. I can't... I was an idiot and forgot to save, so I had to do the Kimono Sisters thing all over again. That's how I knew about this... The easy route through the World Islands. Okay. Okay. Getting, getting into Discharge. Even though it won't scratch it all that much. Look, it just shrugs that off. And now Jewel is drowning. I'm sorry, Jewel. Yeah, Zinx armed with Rain Dance, Extra Sensory, Aero Blast, and Hydro Pump. Pretty devastating moveset. Yeah, Rain Dance combined with Hydro Pump can wreck, a po wreck any Pokemon that doesn't resist water, like my Hydro Fang right here. Okay, Hydro Fang, show them what you got. Okay, good, good. Lower its defense, but based on the damage I dealt, I shouldn't be able, I shouldn't be worried of knocking it out. I don't think. Going, come on, stop. Perfect, right there. I couldn't ask for a more perfect HP threshold. Maybe I could if I had false. Maybe I should have brought, bought the false white TM, but then I wouldn't have anyone to teach to without getting rid of something. I would have a hard time getting back. Oh well, M's the bricks. Okay, Dust Balls are your best friend here, by a lot of them. They have a times 3.5 catch rate in caves, so yeah, that's an advantage you have catching Lugia. If you're playing Heart Gold and going for ho -Ho, you can play at nighttime to make Dust Balls more effective. And oh, I was hoping I'd catch it! Dang it, Lugia, why do you gotta do this to me? It's usually when, I'm saying, it's usually when a Let's Play says something nonchalant and uh, completely unrelated to what they're doing that they catch the legendary Pokemon they're trying to catch. Why couldn't it work for me?! Okay, rain stopped. Uh, shoot. Got Hydro Pump, but otherwise, Ragnarok should be able to stand up to it decently. Okay. Come on, catch this thing, catch this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Of course not. You gotta be kidding me. AI Pokemon aren't supposed to be this smart. No, so much for Ragnarok. Any new plan of action. Okay, hopefully this thing doesn't roll me. Just sending crosshair, I suppose. I don't hear anything better. Okay, just come on. Come on, Dust Ball, work with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One. Ah! Okay, good. Fully paralyzed. That buys me some time. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One. Two, three, got it! That actually didn't take all that long. Huh. Lugia's day will be added to the Pokedex. Said to be the Guardian of the Seas, it is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. I love this thing so much. I don't want to give it a nickname, I don't have anything good, I'm not using it on the team anyway. That killed the mood. You not only made Lugia appear, but you also caught it. It was so wonderful. There's nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself on your journey. And with that, we obtained Lugia. Didn't take nearly as long as I thought, but eh, decently length episode. And especially since I had to record it twice. Don't make my mistake, kids. Anywho, with all that said and done, I'd say it's a pretty good place to stop. We defeated the Komodo girls, we nabbed Lugia, and we're on a route to the last part of our journey. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver, we're going to be heading towards the Pokemon League. See you guys next time. Take care.